Hi, I am Devjani Nath. Welcome back to my channel Craft Addict. Today we are going to learn this hand warmer or you can say it fingerless mitten. And we will start with this brim and then we will work in round and then we will make this hole for the thumb and you can see the beautiful stitch it's a great pattern for the beginners and the only difficult part I think will be the last row here I used crab stitch if you have any difficulty in making this crab stitch you can also use single crochet stitch so let's start now for this project I am using this Nako premium quality acrylic yarn it's very soft and I am also using this 5 mm crochet hook we will start with a slip knot make your slip knot in this way and we will start from the brim so I am making the foundation chain chain of 10 3 9 10 this is chain of 10 I have made for the brim but you can make it bigger or smaller according to your choice and now we will start our first row we will work from the second chain from hook insert your hook into the chain grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through both the loops this is single crochet and we are making single crochet row insert your hook grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through both the loops and our first row will be single crochet row insert your hook grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through both the loops so go on making single crochet row at the end of each row we must count our stitches If you like my video please subscribe to my channel I shall leave information in the description box below this is our last stitch and now we have nine single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine and this is our first row now make chain one and move on to the next row and from this row we are this is also the row of single crochet but from this row we will work at the back loop of the stitch you can see this V stitch and we will normally we work through the two loops here but here in this case for the brim we will make single crochet only at the back loop this one so insert your hook into the loop grab the yarn pull through yarn over pull through both the loops again insert your hook into the back loop insert your hook into the back loop grab the yarn pull through pull through both the loops again insert your hook into the back loop of the stitch and in this way we are making single crochet at the back loop of the stitch and go on making like this we have come to the end of this row don't miss your last stitch be careful about it now we have finished our second row chain one then turn your work here is our second row we have completed our second row 
again our next row we will work at the back loop single crochet at the back loop of the stitch in this way go on making single crochet at the back loop and insert your hook wrap the yarn pull through insert your hook wrap the yarn pull through insert your hook wrap the yarn pull through and this is our last stitch chain 1 turn your work so now you can see how it looks i am repeating again this is our fourth row we are working at the back loops only it will give you a beautiful effect ridge effect i'm showing you you can see so this is our last stitch chain 1 turn your work this is front side this is our front side so go on making in this way until you reach your required length which will fit your uh, wrist and now i am going to continue this rows after that i am coming back now i have completed my brim this is how my brim looks like i have made 24 rows and now i'm going to show you how to join this brim just fold in this way work hold your work in this way and now don't make your brim too loose or too tight make it comfortable to your wrist now you can see insert your hook from this side and through the other side stitch through the other side of the stitch we are getting two stitches on both side we are taking stitch from the both side in this way now grab the yarn pull through pull through the loop this is slip stitch we are joining in this way one from this way and other from the other side in this way grab the yarn pull through pull through the loop again into the next stitch from this side and one from other side grab the yarn pull through pull through the loop this is we are making slip stitch we are joining this brim through slip stitch we are taking one stitch from this side and other from the other side in this way join your brim in this way now what we will do just turn out your work in this way inside out and this is our front side you can see and now make chain 1 and now we will work in round 
insert your hook into the same chain yarn over pull through this is single crochet now for the whole round we are going to make single crochet in this way make one single crochet into each row from each row we are getting one single crochet in this way insert your hook follow me in this way one single crochet in each row you can see it from each row we are getting one single crochet Now we have come to the end of this row and we will join insert your hook into this stitch and we will join by slip stitch in this way now chain 1 and we are starting our second row and in this row here we will make we will start our second row and this second row will be the row of half double crochet then yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch grab the yarn pull through we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through all the three loops again into the next chain we are making half double crochet in this way can see this is a row of half double crochet go on making half double crochet into each stitch in this way on making half double crochet and we will meet at the end of this row now we have come to the end of the row 2 yarn over just make a slip knot here and this is and make chain 1 and this is your row 2 and now we will start row 3 and this row 3 will be our increase row this is the only row where we are increasing our stitches so I am showing you how to increase your stitch and from where you are increasing your stitch we will make one half double crochet into the same stitch yarn over pull through yarn over we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through all the three loops another thing from this row we will work at normally we work half double crochet into this top stitches top loops but here we will work at the space between the two stitches into this space we will work into this space and so we make in this way we will make this stitch in this way yarn over insert your hook into this stitch this space in this way yarn over pull through all the three loops again 
we are not working at the top loops we are working into the space between this two stitches another half double crochet now we have made three half double crochet here and the, our next stitch will be increase stitch make two half double crochet into the fourth stitch so three half double crochet then two half double crochet in one stitch in this row we will work like this again into the space work into the space one half double crochet into the space two half double crochet again into the space three half double crochet and then here we will make two half double crochet into one stitch so we are increasing our stitches in this row and this is the only row where we are increasing our stitches after that there will be no increasing so go on continue this all the way around we will work into the spaces between the two stitches remember that go on making in the same way and we will meet at the end of this row now we will start our fourth row this is row 4 and in this row only half double crochet in each stitch so yarn over insert your hook into the space between the two stitches grab the yarn pull through we have three loops on our hook yarn over pull through all the three loops again make another half double crochet into the next space again another half double crochet into the next space in this way this row will be only half double crochet one half double crochet in each stitch this row 4 now from now on row 4 row 5 and row 6 this three row in this three rows we will make only one half double crochet in each stitch we will be making one half double crochet in each stitch row four five and six in this three rows there will be only one half double crochet in each stitch so go on making complete this three rows and after that we will meet at the end of the row six and now you can see I just finished my sixth row. This is one, two, three, four, five, and sixth. This is sixth row I have finished, and now we will start our seventh row by chain one. Now make one half double crochet into the same stitch that is here. At the space in the space between the two stitches make one half double crochet again into the next stitch make one half double crochet we have made two half double crochet here and now what we will do we will make hole for our thumb so 
now we will make chain 6 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 and 6 and now we will be we will skip five chains 1 2 1 2 3 4 5 and make one half double crochet into the sixth chain this is our sixth chain not in the chain sorry we will make one half double crochet into the space between the two stitches so yarn over pull through all the three stitches so you can see here we have made the hole for the thumb and now again do one half double crochet into the space as we did before nothing more one half double crochet into the spaces in this way and go on making complete this row and we will meet at the end of this row now we have come to the end of this row here and join this row by slip stitch make chain 1 and now you can try it your bone one you can try it like this now i have just finished row 7 now we are moving to the row 8 so make one half double crochet in the space then one half double crochet into the next space and into this hole we will make six half double crochet and i am going round this chain in this way 1 and 6 now i have made six half double crochet around this chain and now we will make one half double crochet into this spaces as we did before make one half double crochet into the spaces between the two stitches go on making one half double crochet into the spaces and we will meet at the end of this row now we have come to the end of this row and join the rows with the slip stitch then again chain 1 we are starting our ninth row make one half double crochet into the same stitch again one half double crochet into the next stitch and then one half double crochet into the six stitches 1 2 3 4 5 6 So this six stitches mean make one half double crochet into each stitches like 
and now again into the spaces. as we did before so make one half double crochet into each speech spaces this is row 9 we are making so from this row row 9 10 11 12 next four rows will be only row of half double crochet there will be no increase or no decrease so go on making in this way and we will meet at the end of the row 12 now I have finished my 12th row this is now how it looks I will just make one more row to give it an even edge just chain one and now you can also finish it with one row of single crochet like this in this way as we may make normally the single crochet row in this way but here I'll be making one row of crab stitch that is I'm showing you how to make this crab stitch I have just make one chain and now insert your hook actually we are working in the left hand side in crochet and here in the crab stitch we will be working in the right hand side so insert your hook here in this way grab the yarn pull through we have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops again into the next stitch insert your hook grab the yarn pull through we have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops again insert your hook grab the yarn pull through we have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops now you can see how it looks this is just twisted single crochet we are making so go on making in this way grab the yarn pull through pull through both the loops again so repeat this pattern all the way around to the end of this row this is how it looks and I'm going to repeat this pattern to the end of this row and after that we will meet at the end of this row now we have come to the end of this row you can see and now we will make slip stitch in this way and chain one now finish your work cut off the yarn now you can try it on your hand this is how it looks this is perfect for me if you like to two or three more rows you can add it now make your second hand warmer I have already made this you can see how it looks I hope you enjoyed thank you very much for watching